Okay, I'm back. Call me stupid, whatever you want. It's hot out here again, but I'm here. And I need to know, I have questions. I wanna do something really stupid and simple. And that's just make a dirty, flip, a dirty pour flip cup. And then use the rain -X on it, which I did bring out. And I'm not gonna use any silicone. Even though I usually use the silicone, the blaster, I'm not going to, because the rain -X should do the trick. So. Whatever goes in first comes out last, and I happen to be a big fan of gold, and gold always sinks, and I will, if necessary, add something else to this afterwards if I'm unsatisfied, because I'm not good at being unsatisfied. Anyway, so I'm just going to willy-nilly add colors that I like and take note of tips that are not cleared. And if it happens to be a fairly simple... Uh, <laughs> a simple color palette, that's okay, too. Because I'm not very good at keeping it simple, and it might be time. Alright, so what else do I have in here that's a little bit of a contrast? That's not much. I'm getting full pretty quick. So that, I think that means that I can always use the... I can always use the white pearl, but I can't always add the blue. Oh, and I have that other nice color. I guess I should have used a bigger cup. Never mind. <laughs> It'll be okay. How about if I just put it in there in case I go overboard? That is a nice Caribbean blue I just mixed up. Now, since this is a flip cup, I'm just going to flip it. <laughs> like I said, it's hot. I have my glasses, my timer's on. That's gorgeous. Um, where's my rain -X? We got 18 minutes left. I don't think I need to do anything else to this. Yeah, I know, I'm tempted to tip it. Okay, never mind. So, I think I left my little spatula inside, but I still have this one. Now, the way I first learned about rain -X was from somebody else making a nice little video. Make sure my hands are clean for this. And it is pretty hot out here, which may have, may actually have some bearing on the, uh, the result we get. And I don't like pouring off paint, and you all know that who watch me already. So this is um, this is me attempting to do this in the least wasteful way possible with the smallest amount of paint possible, which may or may not be possible. <laughs> yeah, that was very sensical. Yeah, okay. I wish there was a way for me to protect that outside edge. So I'm just going to make this bigger right now. And I've got edge catchers around here. I'm losing all my purple. Bummer. But I suspect that it's in there. I know it is. Okay, now, the fan is behind me. So I'm using my original formula. Get that camera strap out of the way. Original formula rain -X. Everybody keeps asking. One, just one squirt. We have lots of nice cells. And now I get to find out what happens when you tip things on a hot day without enough paint. Hopefully we have enough paint. When I first saw this, it was on a slightly smaller canvas, mind you, but she made good mention of the fact that the cell stayed intact, which I was kind of looking forward to, in case they would do that. I have an edge catcher. I'm gonna try and use it. I don't need any paint to run off at all. Also need to remember that I keep using things with holes in them, which doesn't make it easy when I want to keep it off of myself. Now, in theory, if there isn't enough paint, I may succumb to my inclination to uh, use my squeeze bottles and make something interesting. I'm trying to keep you in the loop here, but since there's not that much paint, my bad. I have to kind of <laughs> work it. I'm just using that edge catcher and squeezing it back and forth. And actually, I think I'm going to take some of that. Wait. Oh, come on. Really? And squeeze it back up over there. And then I'm going to do the same thing down here. I usually use my spatula, but my spatula is in my little tiny 12 by 13 foot potting shed come studio. That's still pretty cool. 
I wonder what I could do. I wonder, I wonder. Because there really isn't enough paint. And I wonder what Rain-X does. It's already mixed. Hey, we still got we still got paint movement. That's cool. I'm good. I can get enough to roll down there. I can also get it to roll down the edge. This is a test, huh? A test of my ability to make something happen from an inadequate beginning. Okay, so now we know I have failed somewhat. You also know about me that I am unwilling to fail pretty much consistently. Do I have... I have another cup. It's not the cup I expected it to be because I put the other one in the bucket already. It's hot. My brain sort of melts when it's hot, so if I don't make the most sense, you'll have to forgive me. I am just making up another quick cup right here in front of you. Maybe too much. <laughs> From not enough to too much. Yeah, well, never mind. It'll be okay. Now, what do I want to do? Do I want to stir it a little bit? I never stir things. Well, you know, I just don't care. <laughs> I guess I should. But since I know I have an edge catcher right here, and I'll tip all that, and tip it back, and squeeze it, and tip it over. Let it fall and run. What will it look like? I think. Like. Well, it's colors I like, so that works somewhat. Let's just mess with that. That's different. Ooh, pretty. Prettier than the painting. <laughs> okay, she's whacking out. Let's see what the straw does, and then let's hit it with some Rain-X again. I am very stubborn. I will not tolerate wasting paint, so we're going to figure something out. Cool. Hey, I'm liking it. too much. Maybe not enough. Who knows? We're working on it. I did expect that the possibility is lurking that the rain -X will keep things from st sticking to the canvas, which is going to leave me in a somewhat weird position when that comes to pass. I'd like more purple over there, please. I wonder if it's buried. Some. Looks like uh, landmass is on an alien planet. This does give me a chance to try everything I ever wanted to try. Um, I guess if I want some more rain -X, which I kind of don't, but I kind of need it anyway. Let me think about this for a second. I have all kinds of other things in my mind right now. Um, I think the Rain-X, once it's on there, it's going to continue to react with things. And so I'm going to take the chance to find out. Oh, there goes a the top. By doing what I do often and whipping out my bamboo skewer and adding some color where I want it to be. 
I also like this color. And I'd like to swipe a little. I've got a little card here. I know I like that stuff up there. But we have permission to play. Because there's nobody we have to ask. <laughs> That's cool. I don't want to make too much mud, but at least it's purple mud. Yeah, purple and blue mud. I'm just playing now. I'm not unhappy. I kind of think I wish I'd used another color in there, but I don't know what it would have been other than dark blue, and I have some of that around here somewhere. Okay. Say that with more confidence, and maybe you'll find it. Give that a bit of a shake. Throw a little bit of that in there. Don't mind that. Actually, I like that a lot. I'm good. Still not getting very much white. And instead of skewering, I think I'm going to blow. And if that doesn't work, I'll swipe. And if that doesn't work, I'll skewer. Okay, the question is to more Rain-X or not to more Rain-X? I would like to have something to shield the rest. Not that it'll work, but I'm going to try. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. A little over there, a little over here, and I'm not unhappy. That's actually really gorgeous. <laughs> okay, so where's my black? just the tiniest little bit. I just want to lead the eye around a little bit better. Whether I can actually do that right at this moment or not. A question. I'd really like to get my camera in out of the heat. I'm really hoping but that Renix doesn't cause gaps. But this is lacy and fun and beautiful. And we still have seven minutes left. And it is what it is. And I'm really surprised at how much of that gold stayed on the surface. Or maybe even came to the surface. I'm going to keep an eye on this for the next, until I'm not available to it in the studio right here, and probably try and catch anything that might become a gap and fill it and see if I can keep it filled until it dries and I don't we still don't really have any solid idea what happens that is so awesome I'm I'm surprised I shouldn't be because I like Rain-X effect um, I'm pleasantly surprised and I'm gonna go cool my camera off Let's see if you can see most of that. I don't know if you can or not. Yeah, you can now. Should have adjusted that before. Okay, I gotta come. I always get this wrong. Hopefully I got it right this time. Yeah, I got it right this time. Cool. There is the best view I can give you of that. It definitely looks like something that needs resin. And um, it's a little psychedelic, but it's got great shapes and some really nice textures. And um, I'm not displeased in the least. So thank you for joining me. And remember that I now have a PayPal, PayPal donate button lodged somewhere at the top of my YouTube subscriptions page. And uh, anything that you can help me with would be great. Um, someday I hope to have a working studio space that's not outside where it's 100 degrees anymore. And it's sitting over there in the side yard. It's available as soon as I get a roof and an air conditioner. <laughs> 53 feet of air-conditioned space. Oh, that sounds great. Anyway, you guys have a great day. And um, I'll see you in the next video. And I look forward to that. And it won't be long for me, but it'll be a little while long for you. Because I'm only going to do these one a day. Alright, take care. Bye for now.